anyway, spring sprung and shit's going on and fucking bees are going mad. We got crap going everywhere. I got some boxes on board and we're gonna go out and see if we can sort out a bit of a bit of a better plan than I had this morning because that was a little bit dopey. So hopefully, while you're watching me, <laughs> it might look like I've got shit organized. Look at them all bunched up there. Crazy little critters. Uh, hell, spells, Mr. Yeah. Miguel. Oh my goodness me. Well, I think it's been a pretty good idea. We've, we've just brought them out here on a little bit of um, canola just to boost them up a bit. And they've gone off their chops. So I've split them in half. And we're going to try and put them in some semblance of order so as when we get up tomorrow morning we can lay them all out nice and pretty. But as you can see they're freaking getting a bit excited so hopefully we haven't got too many that are going to swarm on us. Well technically we kind of created a swarm that's in the box already. No it's called a split really if you want to get excited. So the other week I've been here about a week ago and I wonder if I bought one to show you. I probably didn't hang on. <laughs> Come out. Oh. Bloody hell, I've stacked my ute well, haven't I? Get out of there, you bastard. Oh. <laughs> I think I need a bigger ute. Nah, maybe I just need to not put so much shit in it. Anyway. I, oh God. One thing about beekeeping is there's always honey on something. God. Anyway, I've got these divider boards. So you put that on top of your box. You put your super box up here with the new brood and then hopefully they stay a little bit warm and then they collect the field bees that come back in and then they should make a new queen which I reckon the other day I was here stuffing around they got some queen cells and now we're just going to tidy them up so when we get them to the farm because they're going to go on some citrus after this then we can when we lay them out they'll all be ready to put some new supers back on the new boxes that's the plan in any case <laughs> what is the saying could be good could be shit but at the moment it's Somewhere in between. Anyway, the young fella was asking me about why the bees are making a beard on the front of their box. And so I thought, oh, I don't know whether we've talked about this before, but it's pretty much because on a warm day, and it's been in spring, there's, they've got to regulate the temperature inside the box. So when all the ladies are in there buzzing and carrying on, it sort of warms up too much. So they've got to hang out the front. And hence why we're trying to split them so that they don't decide to get swarm and bugger off and make another home that we haven't got hold of. So that's what they do in the wild, they get full, they get too excited, and then poof, next thing you know, you got them in your bloody backyard and hanging in a tree. So this is your board in here that I was showing you a minute ago. Now, just for entertainment, these are 10 frame boards and these are eight frame boxes. Now, if you're ever thinking about being a beekeeper, read the first thing it says, Beekeeping 101. Have one size box. Don't get fucking eights and tens and frames and blah. Anyway, this is why. It's when you come out here in the middle of the bloody nowhere and you've got a 10 frame box divider on an eight frame box, you have to improvise. <laughs> so I actually sat the box inside the frame and hung it over the edge. So I've turned it around. So what I've done is I've got, so this is the box was, the original entrance was here, flying in and out. But I'll put the queen entrance this side and turned it around and so the top's making a new queen but also keeping a bit of warmth. That's the plan anyway. But ultimately we're going to requeen this whole little section because these, well actually these ones aren't too bad but there's about five boxes down the other end that are, I think they should be on, what is that shit they give you if you've got crazy crap going on? Um, Valium, is that what calms you down? What's going on? Oh, shut up. No, this is, a, well, this is a 10. No, it's not. Why the fuck didn't that fit? Maybe it is an 8. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, I've got the wrong bloody pile. Anyway, I've got some that are 10s and some that are 8s. And as I said earlier, don't do that to yourself. Just get one fucking size that's all the same. Just 10s or 8s or 6s or fucking whatever it is. Just get them all the same. Don't buy everybody else's problems, which is what I did. Note to self. <laughs>
Anyway, we might have driven out here for nothing. Oh, all else fails, we can pick up some cow shit. <laughs> for the smokers, this is. Oh, bloody hell! Some of them are tens. Oh, fuck, I don't know. What are we going to do with that mess? We should have brought an actual whole box. Which is what I thought about doing before you got distracting me. <laughs> no, that's all right. We can come back. Well, that's all right. We'll have to have dinner before we come back then. Oh, shit. <laughs> Epic fail. Bumble. Oh, how many bloody eights have you got here, lad? God. That's not very helpful. I've screwed this up dramatically. <sighs> okay, oh well. Anyway, that means we're gonna have to go for another drive. Just as well fuel's only fucking two dollars a litre, isn't it? No, <laughs> oh, two. What are we going to do? Because then if we come back in the dark, it'll be a nightmare. Maybe we'll just do the ones we can do while we're here. And then we'll have... What have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine that we can do. So, I guess, if you were to do that statistically, now if you were a statistical person, and you could do nine, and it only couldn't do four, statistically, you would say that's a good average, wouldn't you? Unless you were on the share market and your, only, and your nine shares were good and your four shares went really shit, then it was a bad average. But I don't know how the share market works, that's why I'm fucking around being a beekeeper. <laughs> oh, see now, if you were, <laughs> if we were watching any other bloody beekeeping show, he wouldn't show you all this messed up shit. Just remember when you read the first thing you ever read, as I said again, I reiterate, is it reiterate when you do something again? I reiterate, pick the same size box, it'll save you a whole lot of stress. <laughs> Might not save you any money, but it'll save you getting shitty at like this particular moment. <laughs> I've got two empty boxes here. So, that would mean we've got 9, 10, 11, and only two that are fucked. <laughs> well, it's about to get very exciting in a minute. I think we're gonna have bees going everywhere. So if you see a bit of blurry footage, you'll know the cameraman's been stung on his ankles because he's forgotten his socks. So, I know there's some old school beekeepers that are watching the show. Well, well, they were watching the show. They might have given up on me, but anyway, doesn't matter. I inherited some of these new these bases, and I had these bloody bits of board in the bottom, which I'm gonna put back in there. But I don't know what the hell they were meant to be doing. So, if you were a beekeeper of old, and I'll show you, I'll put them in the base here in a minute, and we're gonna do put them in there because they were in there. But I don't know what the hell that was meant to achieve because you wouldn't catch any pollen or... So I don't know. Anyway, right to the show. Actually, watch the Q&A. We're sitting in here like this. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe it was to keep the cane toads out. So we make sure these are all facing the right way. We'll just go and grab our lids. Probably chuck the lids the other side of the boxes. And then we'll, I guess we'll see how many bee stings we get. That's the usual routine with this game. <laughs> okay, where do we start? Do we start at that? I reckon we'll start at that end. Because these guys, I think, were angrier. What was that supposed to be? Shit, I don't remember now. I do remember getting quite a lot of stings. 
Holy shit, look at that lot. These little ladies are cute little Italian bees. So they're doing all right. They're just a bit full up. Everybody gets on it, let's it pretty quick. Kill that cockroach. <laughs> Hmm. Looking, looking, looking. Come on, you chicks. Oh, here we go. Here's one down the bottom here. So that's the queen cell that we're looking for. There should be a couple more on these few more frames as we go forward. I was just having a thought to myself, which is typical, thinking to myself while we're filming this crap. I think I've, not only did I bring the wrong size bases for the eight frame boxes, I don't think I brought my scalpel. If we have a box that doesn't have a queen cell, we could get the scalpel and cut the queen cell out and, you know, join them together. But, ah oh well, who knows? Oh, I've got a pocket knife. Maybe I could sharpen that on my window. See, so I do actually read your comments. <laughs> getting, getting in the shit for sharpening my blades with a blooming um, chainsaw file. Some dude reckons I could sharpen it on my window, which I did try, but it's a little bit scratchy, but yeah, well, anyway. Cool idea. Right. This one under here, that's still got the old queen, so we don't need to worry, because that's made a nest up here. So you try to keep the old queen in the bottom box, because she's gonna be going and getting all excited, and the new queen's made in the top box. So, and then you've turned it around, so you've caught all the field bees, so that's why the top box is a bit more hectic than the bottom box. But she's making a whole lot of new babies, so it should all even out. And I'm just going to sit these together, even though this is technically not 100% correct, but it'll work for what we're doing. Just doing this so we can transport them but when we come here tonight we will try not to put the eight the ten on top of the eight because it's not really sensible for transport and then when they get to the citrus they'll all get all the excited and go oh my god oh that'd be right oh well that solved that problem Yet another piece of old crap that a bloke borrowed. Oh, I didn't borrow, I actually paid money for this junk. <laughs> oh, it's not the box that's the problem anyway, you idiot. It's the base is the problem. But that's fine because we can use that base without using the box. Can't we? Say yes, cameraman. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nope, look at that, straight up. What the hell, I wonder how they got a queen way over there. Huh, cool. Oh well, that's alright, that's all we need to see. Yeah, I know you don't, don't do any of that banging stuff. <laughs> if you look reasonably, you've got a reasonable amount of bees in both boxes, a reasonable amount of split. These top box actually got more field bees, but the queen has made a few more bees in this box because she's laying eggs and hatching out easier, so. So that's the theory of it. So hopefully if our young virgin queen has a, a good little flight and finds a reasonable match at the nightclub, we'll, um, well I don't know, would it be a nightclub out where the drones are hanging out? I wonder what that's called. It's probably called something rude, but I'm not gonna say it because it's, um, well, I'm allowed to say rude shit on this show, apparently. It, it might be that, it, maybe it'd be called, it'd probably be called the fuck zone, wouldn't it? <laughs> anyway, I don't know, I'm sure it's got a technical term, mating zone or something. Anyway, because of course, as you would know, when she hatches out, she'll wander around the hive and get herself orientated a bit. And then when she's got her strength up, she'll make a few little flights out and she'll find a spot where all the boys are hanging out shake a little tail and then whoop -oh! 
Next thing you know, you've got a box full of bees. be beekeepers out there if you're wondering why you'd have to pay $150 or $300 for a nucleus box that's properly bred it's because when you catch a swarm like those three that we just played with they are seriously upset they are bloody stupid so if you're thinking of playing with bees not only should you buy some nice relaxed little ladies from some reputable beekeeper like the Bunyip bee people or no, there's no ore, don't fucking do it. Definitely go out and buy yourself a bee suit anyway if you're gonna catch a wild swarm, because look at them, they're just completely mad.